Welcome! I'm back with 9 new tips from the Pro League game between Flipside and Most Wanted that was played on March 28th, 2017. In this video, I will break down 9 plays from that match and explain how they did it and how you can use it to win more matches in Rainbow Six Siege. This is part of a series I'm doing, so don't forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos just like this one. And with that, let's get right into the action. Yep, we'll fight and we'll wait and see. Now, I do like what they're doing up here. They're putting a lot of people up here. I want to say three or four. Sorry, Zilchi dropped, so it's a three and two split here. A lot of utility, a lot of players upstairs, and I think that's the right call. Like, uh, yeah, I definitely agree with you. It is better to have control of upstairs as long as you can, and they do have that drop down open, which means as soon as one of them, or as soon as they start getting pressured heavily, they're able to just simply drop back into the site. When Flipside was holding the workshop, yeah, the only two guys down here, they had three up here in armory, because Border is a very vertical map. You you want to control top for as long as possible. You don't want the attackers to take this easy. So the way they set this up, this is all reinforced. Inside here, you have this reinforced and the mirror here, so you can easily deny them. You also have you ha they use the hatched opens, so they they could fall back to the objectives when needed when they wasted enough time. Then they have one mirror here, and they have castle off here to give some extra protection here for when you're playing this mirror window here. And when playing up here with this setup, they picked up four of most wanted attackers, and then easily dropped down to the site and got the last one. Very nice strats, work perfectly. Today I feel like is the is the. Um I guess the newer, quote unquote, the way to handle this particular bomb site. It has been seen before, but it just seemed to be working a little bit better than uh, forcing yourself into the A bomb site. Yep, and here you can see Zilchi playing that vertical game, trying to get the uh, thinking nade from a, from below, but it looks like he's going to get out of out of place at the moment. And the best way to counter this, when you have people holding in this armor desk, you, a lot of teams playing with the mirror here now, and. Even if you're not playing the mirror, they have opened up down here below, so to play someone in here trying to shoot, you want to get through. And what we saw was a perfect counter to that. Down here in the server room, next workshop, you see this is a roof hatch inside that room. So if you open up here first, you see that's the desk, so this is where you can stand. And right above here, is next to the room, so there's the wall, so if they have the mirror here, just shoot it out and they can't stand here anymore. So this is the perfect counter for this. Just open this up here. As you see, I would not want to stand in this room if I was a defender. So very good way to open up. Hot and cold! Gonna pick up that kill on the nade now. So with that, my man turning it into favor here. Foremost wanted on round number two. Hot and cold's gonna pre-fire that wall. Gas grenade's gonna get thrown out by Gurmy. It's gonna stop a little bit of a push. This is a shield they use several times up here in armor. It serves several purposes. Because they usually try to open this up. And you get more cover of course here. Could also go down here and use the tight angle. You can set the shield a bit wider if you want a bigger angle. But just use a, a tight angle here. But another thing they used this for was because when the time, time gets low and you're trying to push here. This gives excellent cover for smoke to lay behind as smoke throw his smokes over so he don't have to expose himself. If this wasn't here, he would have to peek or try to for a longer run risk getting picked off. With this, he can just play back here, go back and just lob it over. Just deny them to get in there. So this shield was very useful. They use it several times. As you can see for the attackers, this is how it looks when you're coming in. See that pixel peak there is hard to see, unless you have glass of course. After he gets picked up. Come here, Werby. Ooh, and it looks like Ezla gets Pojo made hot and cold. going to pick up Gurmy though. A three on three now after that short engagement inside of the archives. Now Zilchi is tucked around inside of the ad or inside of the archives. Nade though will get the drop shot onto Zilchi. Actually, no, that was below. A very nice hole there made up by Nade. When defending up in armory and archives, you will. This is a site the attacker is most likely going to take. So they're usually going to come south from this zone, door. By or come up from this window and jump in. And what they almost every time do 
they use cover like this. They try to walk around this shelf and use it as cover. And then when you have this hole, very nice play. What he did here, he was trying to peek down, trying to see where is there someone down there when, when there was a hole, and he just got picked off. And he was laying down here next to this one. And with the ACOG on, he got a very nice view up there. And very hard for attacks to see him down here. It's a very nice move. Uh, it also, you have to take into account that most want to handle that in an odd way. They, agreed, agreed. Their pushes were just a little weird. Um, I think they'll probably get it more refined down going, and once they start to feel out, it seems like the sort of team that they just need to feel out flip side and, and get uh, get a handle on them. And of course, I need to show we have Val Cam or two from this match. One they did is from offices here. Just go down here, aim right at the corner there, and throw it. See excellent view when they're trying to push here. Next one they did was in from Armory. Let's go here. In pretty high. And as you see, landed perfectly on the car there. So very hard for the attackers to spot. This way you can both see if they repel on the wall over there and if they try to go through the window or the window next to, to the archives. So very good view here. And as you can see, this cam is hard to see for the attackers. It's it sits on this van. You can even get it even better inside here, but if it goes up on this van, it's hard for them to see when they're out there. So good cam out there. Agreed. So now it looks it does look like most one is gonna push in towards the west balcony here. You can see Habana opening up the bottom of the wall there. It looks as though underneath, though, Hot and Cold is going to take quite a bit of damage. I want to say that was from an Ash Charge by Fox. She is underneath of there. That's going to force Hot and Cold to get on out. The wall does get opened up. That's going to be enough. When attacking Armory, this wall is always reinforced. You sometimes have Mira here. You have Mutes. You have Bandits. In this case, they also try to do the Bandit trick. Trying to put down new charges to deny them access here. And the best way to counter this is open the floor. You can do this right from here. As you can see, it's easy to open. If you buck, for example, just open this up from down in the exit hallway and remove breach, mutes, uh, bandits, open up the mirror window. But in this case, he used ash. He used shot, shot it right up here. And he did tons of damage to bandit and he forced him to move away so he can perform the bandit trick. So excellent play. Uh, they will try to waste as much time as they possibly can upstairs, try and bait out uh, utility from the attackers, and neither of these teams have been doing that. Now there was a C4 thrown up from Kitchen onto the floor of Master Bedroom. It just barely missed Montaigne, but that's one of those... The stairs in Chalet are import very important for the easiest way to get around, so keeping an eye on, on the stairs and closing them down is very important. So what it did here, it was opened up right above here by Fuse. And the best thing, he just sat right up here in the, in the bathtub. And you see almost all of his body is protected. And you can just aim down here and see the stairs if they are coming. So he's very protected by the tub. And he gets excellent view down if someone's trying to rotate using the stairs coming up. For example coming up from, from, from basement. Or if they're coming down. So very nice spot to keep an eye on. and deny them the rotation routes. Mobile garage and the uh, wall in wine cellar, um, or you can get like, you know, you can get the snowmobile garage, one hatch, the wine and wall, uh, the hall in, or the wall in wine cellar. Why? Why is that so difficult? <laughs> and uh, also the wine cellar closet. But um, yeah, again, unfortunately they did not, I guess they weren't expecting a basement defense first and yeah, they lost their only breach. I was just about to mention this. We see one of the walls inside of the wine closet where Nate is right now. When holding down here in wine, what you usually see is you see both of these walls reinforced. What they did here and what you see sometimes in, in high rank games is you leave one open. You leave a rotation hole here. Then you sit here with a shotgun and just wait for them to peek you. Because as an attacker, it's not funny to go here against a shotgun. You're going to get shot in pieces. The... the biggest counter to this is to have Montaigne, if you just walls by by this big shield here. But you can do to stop this a little bit is to make this as a crawl hole, so you have to crawl through it and not walk straight up. This way, if you have to lower his shield, you have a chance of getting him. Of course, 
they can just blow a ash charge here and open it up but at the same time they can still done that with hibano fermite so i don't think this is a such a disadvantage as a defender to have and also one more point here when you have this hole when they're trying to push you from garage you can go here and then you can flank them here so this gives you one more way to attack them and it's much harder for the attackers to know when they have to concentrate on, on several way, places where you can come from. Somebody get that, Captain. And there's what looks like, yep, it's gonna be the double cams from Pojo Mans. On some maps, like Chalet, it's very important to have the Valkyrie cams outside. And if you throw one, chances are they're gonna find it. So on crucial places where you really need them, throw two like you did here. So he just went out here, you will be detected if you through one, area. went here, through the second. This way, he has a very good view over here, and here. You will be detected here you can see where the area. camera landed, see so one up back. here, and one over there. And the best with this tip is on the specific uh, camera positions. The best in this tip is to throw out two, to double your chances of having one survive. Because on a map like Chalet, it's very important to have that external camera to keep an eye on where they're going. So very smart play here by Pojiman. That's it for this time. I will soon be back with a new video, so don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss that.